M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's unbox the Radtel 730. 10 watt, six band radio. So let's just, this is what the box looks like. like so let's get everything out. Quite a big radio, a lot bigger than I expected. Twin PTT, very solid and heavy feeling. Um, yeah, nice instruction manual there. Okay, usual what you would expect. It does have a desktop charger. Put that there, a belt clip and strap. Like so, and quite a big antenna. A big long antenna. Bigger than usual, as you can see. And it does have USB-C charging in the actual battery, which is the way they're doing it now. And you'll find that these days, um, they're, they're even making batteries with USB-C for older, older radios. That's quite a chunk, isn't it? Wow. Um, What's that? Let's do that. Get the battery off. See if we can get this off. Let's pull it up and then slide towards me. Which we just did. 8,000 milliamp hour. Wow. <laughs> so it's a big battery. Quite a big device. Like I said, two PTTs. SOS button, function button, two knobs, which we like. Usual antenna connection, belt strap goes here. And then, yeah, it's come with the, normally these days they, they do the, the desktop charger, they'll do it with, with USB-C in, but they haven't done that in this case, so it's got a proper transformer in there. So let's get the battery back on. Now, I've never used this radio ever, so we just turn it on for the first time. Welcome. Ooh, very nice screen indeed. Really nice. Surprised how nice that is. Let's have a closer look. Very colourful screen. When I type the frequency, watch this. Four. four. Three, four, four. Zero, zero. That's my node. It, it just, the screen feels quite big. So there's my FT5. Yeah, I mean the five bigger. But it reminds me of the FT5. This is a six band 10 watt radio, which does have air band. So we go one, we go VFO. Oh, am I locking the key? Yeah, it's flashing that I've locked the key. I press this button and it um, brought up the weather channels. You've got FMW, up DN and up down mode and mode. So. Yeah, up and down. It's sort of telling you what the toggle is doing. And then let's come out. I'm going to press this button briefly. On the B, it looks like it's definitely going to do PMR, GMRS. Let's take it to the B band. Go to VFO. Mode. Frequency mode. Go one, one four, four, five, five six. six zero, it's very zero. nice to use. There's no doubt about it. Uh, really looks good you know, good, that's all I can say. Um, so on the A band, let's go to A and put in an air, air band, because it is, three, three, eight, eight. oh, eight, let's go, how do we clear one? Oh, we'll just do the whole lot. Zero. So one, three, three, eight, five, zero, is one that I, where I tend to pick up stuff, even inside this shack, that's Bristol Airport Approach. So first impressions are good. Oh, it's got, a, you do need, I've, I've been told this, you need a special cable to program this device. So let's take that screw off and have a quick look what that is. Just take this screw out. I take these out and then I always forget to um, put them back on. So it's coming out. That's that one, it's just uh, there it is. Oh, it is twin pin. It's a narrow type, so my all-in-one cable might do it. We'll try it. It looks like the cable's only going to be about seven pound delivered if I if I decide to if I do need to get one. We've got a lot of cables lying around here in this shack. Let's just look at the menu. So we'll turn it up if we hear some aircraft. 
I notice the lock button comes up, look. See that? And I, I need to uh, just work out which one's doing that. See, when I press this twice, the lock vanished. Menu. Menu. See, so Roger, backlight. We'll do that one now. So, backlight, we'll go menu and we'll go up to continuous. So, that's good that we've got continuous. Go down power save, TX power. We'll leave it on high because we're going to test that in a minute. Squelch. So you press menu, choose your squelch. Confirm. On number two for now, beep, wide and narrow, step. 6.25, I'll put it on five actually. Confirm. Nice, nice clear menu. Might need to do the squelch again. In this shack, you know, we do get a lot of interference. Let's try four. Okay, back to menu. They're numbered here at the top to 37. Transmit, is that the CTCSS? Probably. Once you go up and down. No, it's not letting me do that at the moment. I think that is some air band coming in actually. But anyway, menu, language, timeout, scan mode. What's STE? You're not sure. Voice, that's the talking offset. So let's just go 0, 0, 600 for now. That'll be GB3WR. SD, what's that? Ah, shift. We want minus if we're going to do GB3WR. Shift direction, channel name, we won't do that now. Channel edit, so it looks like you can program it from the front. TX LCD is on. Okay, both on. Auto lock, box gain. Name edit. Warn type, TX select, FM receive, store a channel, and then your programming buttons, short and long. Okay, so let's do the, the short is the weather channels, and the long one, what's that now? Go, uh, well, let's turn it to radio. So when we press this one, we should get the radio now. Ah, oh, there's two programming buttons, so that'll be the orange one as well. Okay, fair enough. Let's go... And that's it, so that's there right at the end. So on the B, let's go to the B band. See, right now it's not gonna do anything. We need to set up those parameters. So we'll go, uh, let's get it right. We're on, let's just make sure we're on B. Yeah, we've got the green arrow menu. Let's go to the shift direction again. Offset, six hundred menu direction minus. Let's just exit that. A minute, see if that works. Still not letting me TX. Not sure why. Let's tr press here. Channel, channel frequency, mode. frequency mode. So I've got everything in there apart from tone. I'm looking at the front here, there are shortcuts. Look, you've got menu and you've got scan, step, dual watch, which is also in the menu. So you, you can't hear two at the same time, but you can hear two. Uh, squelch, beep, vox, LED. What's number one? Menu, menu one. Roger beep. The one I haven't found yet is tone. Let's try the radio. Now that's weather. Let's try it up here. Just holding down as a radio shortcut on the on the um, emergency button. I usually listen to to radio one actually. Anyway, that works. Go back to normal. Just hold down the button again. I mean, it's a big set.
you're definitely not going to easily get this in your pocket. There is a shortcut here that's called FM. If you go menu, FM, and that's took me to receive tone. If I go menu, and I'm just trying to turn that on, and it's not letting me. I just need to turn that on, <laughs> and then I can, uh, you know, try my repeater. Oh, that one worked. Do you see that? <laughs> okay. Star turns on the tone. So what, 94.8 is worth remembering. So now if we exit, does it show that we turn the tone on? We've got wide, high power, S. Anyone see a T? One, two, test, test, M0, FXB. Let's try that again. Yeah, I think what happened is when I chose the tone, so you go menu, menu. F, yeah down to TX tone, menu, you choose it, star, and then you go up and down. Okay, you've got different types of tones. You have to remember to press menu. Confirm. So now we've definitely got tone in there. Is that what those two li the li little mountains mean? M0 FXB, test, test. I noticed that the volume was going up and down when I was talking as well. Interesting, just here. M0 FXB, test, test, test. That's interesting. Okay, we're outside. And it did work when we were outside. Let's see if I can get the screen brighter. M0 FXB calling for an audio test. You can see I'm accessing. Station calling for a test. You're very, very quiet. Very, very quiet into WR. Um, oh, it's windy out here. Let me just... That the reason for that is because I was um, talking far away from the radio. Let's try again. Right, just replied. Let's see what the audio and report is now. FXB from G4CGF. Yeah, that was uh, much better. Much better. Got your call sign then. Um, still a bit low. No white noise. Five readability and much stronger than your previous uh, uh, attempt. Uh, name here is Wall, Whiskey off for Lima. I'm running two and a half watts from North Bristol uh, from an 817 ND uh, M0 FXB G4CGF. G4CGF, M0 FXB. Well, thanks for the test. And um, yeah, it's just a, a budget radio, it's called a Radtel, and I'm, I am in Weston, but I'm nearer the motorway junction, raised up, raised up quite a bit, I suppose, where I am. And um, but yeah, testing this out, see how it works. The Radtel 730 does airband and things like that, and it's only about £35, I think. So yeah, well, nice to meet you. My name's Andreas, and um, my call sign's M0FXB. Back to you, then I'll, I'll carry on tinkering and learning how to use this radio. Good afternoon, Andreas. Uh, just as a matter of interest, also, it's like a Roger Beep uh, uh, sound uh, when you uh, uh, stop talking. But it's not a beep, it's a more of a... I think that's on menu. Um, like, a, like a squelch tail, but uh, uh, a bit musical if you... Menu. Uh, okay on your testing, fine. Uh, like I said, the audio quality is okay. A bit low at the moment. Um, with a little bit of a confirmed at the end of your transmission. So perhaps... Uh, yeah, hopefully we've turned that off I now. I don't know the particular radio you're using. Um, so I wish you the best of luck with it uh, from G4CGF. There's a live test, then we're going to test the power next. Say bye to Mazzy. G4CEF. Yeah, I, I think I went in and turned off the, the tone. Um, so uh, we'll keep playing and thanks for the contact and catch you later. Very windy here in Weston. 7-3 to you there in Bristol. Uh, yeah, the corner is Golf 4, Charlie Golf, Foxtrot. Charlie Golf, 
Foxtrot uh, Andreas. Okay, carry on. And nice to have met you for the first time. And uh, all the best with your testing. Uh, G4 Charlie Golf Fox, uh, clear WR. That's GB3WR. And remember, we have twin PTTs. So we'll test the power and then we'll see if we've got a cable that works for programming. Right, power test. High power, two meters. Let's try it out. Yeah, and just now when I tested it, it did actually do 10 watts. So high power, let's try 70 centimeters. So we'll go four. Four, three, four, three, zero, zero. It's a very colourful display. Seven. It's on. We're just on a dummy load. And then we'll go to a different power level. So we've got a shortcut here, I think, for power. Have we? No. LED. Ah, power. Yeah. M menu. Then number four. Menu. TX power. We'll go to low. Confirm. So we're on low now, and it does say low there. Yeah, under one, which I think is useful. Menu. Confirm. And five mediums. I, I think that's quite good because it was, just now when I was tinkering, it was showing 10 watts. And so at least it's near to what is promised. And let's see if I can find a cable. The other one I was going to look at is how hard it is to add a memory channel. You know, once you've... Pro that, 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 this is my, my Hubnet node. If I just... We need it on 77 simplex. Let's see if we can access that. So we need to just change that back to simplex. We go menu. menu. Now, can we have a shortcut for that? Can't see an obvious shortcut. So we'll go, we're looking for the, remember it was like S. TDR is twin, twin receive. That was tone. Remember the star button to get tone. And then there was an S, wasn't there, for shift. Timeout is there as well. Offset. That should be zero if we're not using a shift anyway. So we just need to turn off the sh yeah, shift direction, which is menu 21. We want to off. Exit. So now it should open my node once we get the tone in. So menu. Is there a shortcut for tone? I'm not seeing a tone shortcut either, which is quite useful when there is. Well, actually, it was under FM, wasn't it? Well, I remember now. Yeah, so shortcut for tone is zero. And then we want 77. No, actually, it's 118 for my node. That's my homemade one. There you are. That's it beeping back at me. Now, to connect to my node, we need DTMF. We haven't tested DTMF yet, so let's give it a test now. So we're Hold down, we'll go. Sometimes tones are silent. So it looks like we're gonna to have to turn on DTMF, that'll be some learning. That's my note. That's coming in from my yeah, Hubnet node. Uh, Airbound there, get the antenna uh, back on. Yeah, uh, Let's put a programming cable in. Uh, uh, I've got one of these all-in-ones. Quite a few connectors and one of them is the narrower type. Let's see if it even fits. And upside down, and yeah, that does fit in quite comfortably. So the next thing is to plug it into my my PC, which does detect a, a you know a port number, but it will because it's, the chip's built into this. These are about ten pound. So let's uh, now try download the software. I'll do a separate video using the software, but let's just see if it even works. I'll put a link in. But on according to Radtel, you know there is a increased scan speed. Navigation, channel key, squelch, sensitivity level, it's a beta firmware there. And expand frequency from 16 to 108 megahertz. But remember, this model does do airband. And there is a link, it just says IP67 radio, it's waterproof. And that is the actual software, number 45.
looks like this and we'll just run it in the normal way as you do next English okay just going through the process finish let's launch it let's launch let's just go set the com which on mine is 22 which is shown here click OK and then go program read oh it's working so that's good news so the all-in-one cable does work so I haven't added any channels apart from what you saw close um, so let's just whether we well, we didn't save the GBCWR but it looks very straightforward frequency tone power name if we just name number one just to show you I just clicked it there we'll add a free we'll add a tone for my no which is 77 on this one uh, power low I think uh, wide or narrow and then name it here hubnet that's all in there. What we got here? Machine info. That's my machine. Uh, file you can open and save. Edit. Optional features. Okay. Timeout, things like that. Programming buttons. You got weather. Copy channel. So is it? I must do the whole copy thing. Edit. ETC. Squelch. Light control. What else we got? A, B channel, that's what it boots, it's remembering what I'm on now as well. Write data to interphone, okay. And then we've got FM, is that the radio? Oh, whether you want to see channel or VFO. For bid receive, hmm. I don't want for bid receive, click OK. So let's just go right to radio, right, well, right to interphone. Click right. You just see the LED flashing, that's what you see. So when it comes back on, channel one should be called Hubnet. Let's see how, the, how that looks. So that's done, it reboots. Welcome, let's go to memory mode. There it is, Hubnet. Yeah, I think, you know, for what it cost, it's about 40 pound. It's a big chunky 10 watt radio, sort of Motorola style. If you look here at my Alance, the new Alance HD2, which is Bluetooth, they're virtually the same size, very, very similar case, not identical. You've got the SOS button there, but the actual controls, it, 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 you know, it could actually be the HD1 case. There's a the HD1, which I think, I mean, I like the HD2 as well. Excellent, solid radios. So yeah, we'll, we'll let you know about how we get on with it, give it some more tests. These are the bands that it says it covers, so it's quite a range. IP67, just scroll down there, advert. Six major functions. It's actually a bigger battery than 6,800, isn't it? Well, it's 8,000, it said. Type C charging on the battery, alarm. One click frequency matching, radio functions, SOS, durable and protective, large screen, I agree, it's a good size. So you basically put two radios next to each other and they'll share frequencies. Long life battery, that's about it. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Seven free.